Greetings fellow gamers. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Steam Browser. If you're looking for a great online gaming environment, Steam is pretty much what you need. So what is Steam? What Amazon is for the book market and eBay is for global purchases, Steam is for games. A platform to get yourself all loaded and plugged into the gaming world with thousands of games, massive multiplayer features, and a gaming community that's about 13 million players strong. In this online environment, you can purchase your games, create and sell them, rent them to others, and of course, interact with other fellow gamers. You can of course download and use certain games on your computer without running the Steam browser, but you would be missing this highly interactive and participatory gaming experience. Steam browser runs on anything, PC, Mac, Linux, and there's also a plugin for the mobile world with limited but convincing functionality. Check out their latest app in the App Store. Mobile platforms aside, we get the Steam browser from their webpage, steampowered.com. The site automatically figures out your system and offers you the right download. Install and run Steam on your computer to access the Steam browser environment. You will have to create an account when you log into the platform, so take your time to define a username, a password, and an email where Steam can send you messages. Once inside, you can buy your games from the store, access your games library, either bought or free to play, and connect with other people in the community. Let's see who you are here. Your profile is achievable from the upper right menu, right under your name. You need to do this in order to set up your Steam ID, define your profile data, and enter the Steam world. Steam uses an open ID technology, which allows you to log into applications without having to pass on confidential information. Your list of achievements, badges that get awarded to you for advancements in play, can be shown to your social networks without having to present your Steam login data. Your profile is an important place because it's the page that allows you to add your own games, even the ones that you didn't get through Steam, or to activate the various Steam game licenses. For that, click and add a game menu in the lower left corner. We'll take the first dive to the store. Wow! Look at that! It feels like being a child again. That's what the Steam browsing experience is all about. One interesting section of the store, if not all of them, is the Steam Greenlight feature, which has users pledging for the creation of games. If you've ever wanted to influence what game you will be playing tomorrow, you can make a contribution today on any of the choices presented by the game makers. If, on the contrary, you are an experienced game creator, you can get your game on Steam by clicking the appropriate button on the page. The next item in your Steam browser menu is Library, which contains all your games and game-related data, and which you can easily transport from one place to another by simply installing the browser on various locations. The library will remember all your transactions and even show you the items that you have received as gifts. The last item available to you is the Community menu that we invite you to explore. If you are a fan of any of the Steam games, there are chances that you will find people with the same interests as yours in the discussion area. If you want to trade any of your gaming properties, you can access the market area. The workshop is an interesting feature as it allows users to create mods or modifications to their favorite games and share them. You can opt for classical browsing or for the big picture experience, which is worth trying if you're using this on your plasma home screen or simply enjoying an immersive take on the gaming world. Give it a try. You might not want to come back to real life after all. This was a How Tech tutorial. Like us on Facebook, love us forever, or leave us a comment here in the fields below. Thanks for watching.